Hello, Lauren Martini. Hi. How are you doing? And hello, beautiful people out there. This is our first awesome channeling with Lauren. She was a guest on the radio show, and her story is magnificent. And she's going to channel Eric on what apparently is a big topic. I did not realize there was so much conspiracy around the topic of Apollo 20 and actually Apollo 19. We have some questions. We're going to limit this to like 30 minutes. But anyway, Paolo will put a screen display on how to get in touch with Lauren. It's guidingperceptions.com, but it will also be in the information box below. All right. Yes. And you would like his introduction? Huh? Eric would like his introduction. Da, 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 da. Drum roll. Hi, I love you, Eric. <laughs> and he's giving you kisses. I love you. I love you. I love you, Mom. Bowing to the audience. Yes. Um, he's very excited. Yeah. He's waving hi, and Aww. he's riding a rocket ship oh my God. with oh my a God. superhero cape that is red, and the rocket ship's like red, white, and blue, and he's just in his underwear. Oh, boy. I hope it weren't whitey tidies. No, you're of a rocket man. They're always whitey tidies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Hi, Eric and Elisa. There is not, you got top billing on that. Anyway, there's not another blog that answers so many of the public's questions. Thanks to Eric for his abounding energy, yeah, enthusiasm, and love. Thanks to Elisa for her endless curiosity and compassion. That's so sweet. Apollo 20 was never launched, according to NASA. Hmm, maybe that's why I didn't haven't heard of it. However, there are rumors on the internet that Apollo 20 did indeed launch, and the launch date was August 16th, 1976. So I've got a whole lot of questions. And um, uh, actually, there's a video that I will make sure that Paula gets in case she wants to put that in the description box. Oh, my God. He so said no. I don't think it ever got watched. It, it wow. did not get watched. All right. Well, let's see this. Number one, did Apollo 20 actually launch in 76? No. If no, this is the end of the questions. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, he says, wait, 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 wait. Because there were some kind of like test runs done. Okay. But it never did like a full, a full launch. Okay. Full blown launch from A to Z, how the project specifically was mapped out. Did okay. they shoot rockets into the air under the Apollo 20 project? Yes. All right. The USAF. Did the USAF do these tests or do these little launches of Apollo 20, not NASA? Or was it NASA? He's telling me it's a bunch of different. He's showing me like layers. Like it started out here with the first. What was the first one? The, you said? the United States Air Force. Yes. So okay. it started there. And then um, oh, Marines. Marines seem to always be involved. So, like, as soon as one starts, Marines just kind of, that's where they go. Um, and then other, other worldly and. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, oh, that sounds, that makes sense with this next question. Okay. Were the astronauts on board the Apollo 20, Leona Snyder, an American, Alexei uh, Leonov, a Soviet, and William Rutledge, an American? I mean, maybe what they're saying, you're saying Aries didn't go to the moon or orbit the moon or anything. Right. Like so they were meant to be doing, you know, going places. Again, may have been involved with like the test runs, but nobody actually went anywhere. The moon or oh, he's saying, I think people want to know, did those individuals specifically meet with and have very open conversations that were swept under the rug or kept from the public. Yes. Ooh. Uh, did they locate a large crashed, crashed ancient spaceship in a moon crater? I guess it didn't land on the moon since, well, I don't know. So it, um, it seems like the person who asked that question there, it's getting switched with. So, did some, something like that happen? Yes. Is it tied to this? No. Maybe maybe this is not Apollo 20 
that saw a large... He's saying there have been so many Apollo 20s but were named other things and okay. projects that absolutely did go off. Okay. But if we're being specific to Apollo 20... Well, let's not. Let's just assume... Okay. <laughs> That's helpful for me. Yeah, let's let's <sighs> just say that these questions apply to what whatever did are the subject of these questions. Okay, so he's going, he wants to just clarify that the timeline is going to mess everything up. So we have, we do have to be specific to some kind of timeline with the, with the questions, just so we can okay. answer them correctly. Okay. I guess we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Did <laughs> they locate a large crashed Ancient space crib, uh, ship, did any Apollo in a moon crater? Yes, there are. Yeah, uh, the moon is seems mechanical and yes. What do you mean mechanical, Eric? So there's like a whole, I mean, I see like a, a huge, almost like a, um, like a cheese, <laughs> showed me a cheese wheel. I'm like, thank you, perfect. Uh -huh. Took, um, but instead of like the stereotypical triangle, it would be almost like you took out because it's a it's round, right? And you right. took out like like a Pac Man almost. Okay, and it's like a like a space station mm. in there, and there's different species. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of different species. There are humans in there, wow. um, so it. It looks kind of like Star Trek, you know, like that big, yeah. but much more vast. I, I would say <laughs> more like enterprise level. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Uh, was this ancient spacecraft originally identified by Luna 15, a space probe? Never heard of that either. Okay, so... I'm not getting it on that specific probe, but yes, because I mean, there's a space station there. So, okay. yeah, space there's probe. all the stuff there. Yeah. Uh, can it be seen with a telescope, the spaceship, or is it not capable of being? No, seen? no. I mean, it's close. It's on the there's, far side of the. Yeah. I, like, there's no technology that humans would ever be able to utilize other than like psychic abilities. Um, or remote viewing. So anybody that's really good hmm. with remote viewing would certainly be able to see it. Um, but nothing with like our human naked eye, okay. no telescope, because there's okay. alien tech. He's showing me alien technology that literally like cloaks it. Oh, I had a feeling. That's so cool. there's no way, cause we're not supposed to see it. So we're not going okay. to see it. it. We just will not. He, and he's even showing me like, say like, Somebody messed up and like the shield didn't go down and it made a reflecting. Everybody just happens to look down at that point. Like it, wow. there's a certain like energy too that is surrounding it. So if it is exposed, humans will not be drawn attention to it. Wow, That's really cool. Uh, so of course now I'm asking him like, okay, so like how does that technology work? And he's showing me different like static electricity and um hmm. good question. So like you'll just want to like scratch the back of your neck and you just like avert your eyes. It's not harmful. Okay. But you just like don't notice it. <laughs> oh wow, that's cool. You've used invisibility cloaks on uh, as pranks for many people, including me. All right, what, oh, are, what are the dimensions of the I wait one second. I could, oh, he's like cracking up right now oh. he's with one of our loved ones. I thought I lost my daughter. She was sitting next to me on the couch and but oh my gosh, my good friend was with me and we're tearing her on the house and we could not find her and she was just peacefully lying there and we did not. Oh, you stinkers. Oh my God, that is cute. Well, he hid my very important index card that has my schedule on it. I put everything on it. Even get the mail, take a bath, blah, blah, blah. Breathe. And he knows how I'm OCD. So, you know, I know I put it in my purse, but I looked ever emptied out the purse. Then I put the purse contents back, put it on the 
uh, piano and walked past it another time. There it was sticking out by this right side. out. And yeah. you're like, I know, I, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is, oh, okay. he wants me to ta tell everybody that he's really been working on his farting, his spirit farts. His what? His spirit farts. Oh, okay. He wants. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so. Uh, Sometimes I have to go into the hospital to get fluids. I get really dehydrated. My kidneys just, I just get a lot of pain. So I have to go in and I always have to get a CAT scan because I want to make sure, you know, blood clot yeah. or blockages, just make sure everything's working right. And when you go in for a CAT scan, they make you like breathe in and hold your breath. Oh my God. Don't you know him and his, little gang of friends of my spirit team all like farted as soon as I breathed in. Oh so no. Looking like a crazy person, like giggling to myself, like don't laugh. Don't laugh. Oh you my God. Like, so I got a nose full of farts right before I went. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he does yeah. that. Sneaky shoes is a big one too. <gasps> that makes so much sense. Yeah. You're such a booger. So what is the height, width, and length of this spaceship, Eric? More or less, it is as big as of which red spaceship? Box or, hmm? Of what spaceship? Because Apollo ancient, twenty doesn't the, really exist. Well, the ancient spaceship that crashed apparently in this moon crater. Okay, so he's. I asked him to direct to find that person who asked the question. Okay. To like what their want, like the specific spaceship that they have in their mind. Yeah. Um. So he wants. Okay. So all right. I'm getting a blueprint. The length would be fourteen football fields. I don't know what that calculates to. A lot. But that, those are dimensions people can understand. Yeah. Um. Okay. So it's. Okay. So if I'm looking at it, uh, long ways, it is like really thin it gets fat and then gets skinny again and has like almost like a tail almost like a uh stingray Ooh. without the tail and then he flips it this way so i'm looking at underneath and it's again like the stingray so it's like wider in the Ooh. middle so the fattest part he's showing me is eight to ten football fields oh wow and then he's taking it sideways again and there's like a bubble in the middle where there's like a living quarters and stuff yeah oh labs so like the the main arteries and organs the brain that is five four i'm sorry four to five footballs four and a half Four and a half football. Wow. 4.5. Okay, so weird moon crater may be the site of an of a an old NASA spacecraft, but I don't know. Could it's be not NASA. It's alien. Um, the one that he's showing me. And I'm seeing a lot of like spirals. Oh, that's cool. It's not a very good picture. Um, he's showing me a lot of spirals, and it's almost like if you opened up a electronic like microchip and you see like all like the lines and like dot 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 and like right that is on the ship and oh. it looks like it's um like very corroded and it's uh almost looks like it's like a rock now oh okay like, like petrified rock. it's petrified yeah uh all right uh why are there three holes in the spacecraft i guess we can ask is there but first but why are there three holes in you oh that's so gross <laughs> well there's ins there's outs and there's uh like garbage only no people is it like um are they part of the uh manufacturing of the spacecraft or is it it looks like it's transport there's the oh, okay. He showed me three holes and it's transport. Okay. So people up, people down. And then this one goes both ways. And it doesn't matter that it goes both ways because it's ancient alien technology. Okay. They kept it separate because when you went both ways through one transportation tunnel, like 
it would mess it up on the way back up because it would catch some of the essence of you that was left Ooh. behind and like not put. So that's for like garbage or. Okay. If they needed to like offload weight. Okay. You know, just throw it down or suck something okay. up that they needed that organic matter. So if um, a tree had fallen and they needed wood, for example, they could go and just suck up the stump. Okay. So what? where was the spacecraft from, Eric? What planet? A planet that still exists, for example? Oh, my God. I don't know how to say it. Okay. Hold on. Or what constellation will say that? Easier. We don't know. It. Oh, we don't know the name of Yeah. It. Okay. Yeah. But the yeah. name yeah. of the planet. Okay. Go ahead. Go on. Kankahanaka. All right. Sounds like Egyptian. That's cool. All right. Was it originally built in space or was it capable of being launched from its planet? Say that again. Was it uh, was was it originally built in space, or was it built on the planet or uh, originating planet and then launched from there? Both. Oh, okay. So, like it. Oh, that's cool. So, they that is so efficient. I love that process. Okay, so sorry, just like showing me. So essentially, what they do is. They have technology where they can take out, it's like elemental alchemy, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And different organic things carry them as just like the organic matter or an energy sequence to be able to reproduce or call on that energy out in the universe as they need it. So it's completely zero waste. Oh, wow. It's like, so like the ship's almost organic in a way. So it absorbs and borrows the energy that it is the species inside foresees that they're going to be needing because they're also taking into account reproduction um, and growth of their community or collective. Wow. wow. So the spaceship grows with them. Wow, that is so cool. That is so cool. I'm thinking outside the box. How I just got thinking? goosebumps. Oh, it, are, are the aliens that were in this um, spacecraft, are they enemies or friends of ours? Are they oh, friends. friends. Oh, good. Good friends. Old good. pals. Oh, got it. Okay. Okay, so a lot of um, uh, humans that are light workers are really really old come from this planet and that's where a lot of like the lord of the rings elves okay. fairies all of that mm -hmm. um otherworldly elemental yeah. because they're really their planet is very similar to ours but bigger and they have a lot of good relationships with other even universes that have that are, he's showing me an all water planet Ooh. um that's where the octopuses uh, come yeah, from. Yeah, I believe it. He, you said something like that before. And yeah. And stuff. Yeah, oh. he's showing me that again. Yeah. Um, so their knowledge helps us on Earth because they have similar elements. And that's where a lot of our elementals originated from. They put them here for knowledge and for um, a lot of our indigenous first human species mm. um and that's why they're so rooted in the earth and like alien hybrids journey. humans that are yeah. alien hybrids cool uh, okay how long did it take to build this thing well they never it never stops oh yeah that's right that's right yeah it's oh, like was there only one or were there similar space oh that, it's time? that's a uh, normal uh he's like it's a boeing 747 Okay, so there's many of them. Okay. Are they still in operation from that planet? Well, not though that not that model. That'd be like, you know, taking yeah. out the model T Ford Ford. bird. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Model T, Ford Model T uh out for a spin right now. Oh god. So, Was there a smaller craft near the downed spacecraft? 
Well, I, I don't think this is the same person who asked the okay. question. So um, if it's relating to anything with Apollo 20, no. Okay. okay. Are there multiple space, ancient alien spacecraft crashes on the moon collectively? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Or oh, he said, okay, so he also wants me to mention that Right. So once a project's over, like that, that Boeing's, you know, 747's decommissioned, they have to put them somewhere. So yeah. what a lot of you are seeing is almost like a junker. Oh, did anybody? So it wasn't a crash that aliens died in, was it? No, no. It's almost like abandoned. Um, Littering. Mm. Or like he's showing me, like, oh, it, you know, like they hit the eject button the spaceship crashes and they have like, you know, escape pod crazy pod. awesome technology where, you know, they're not hanging from a parachute. They're completely engulfed and floating and like putting around. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Yeah. So did they go back to their planet using another smaller, like, Oh yeah. Yeah. Because pod. if they crash land, right. There's a, there's like a whole, they just, you know, they, they know how to get in. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Okay, but did two astronauts use the rover to move toward the spacecraft? Did, did the, the ancient spacecraft in the junkyard? So are you talking about, um, and this is clarification for me, so are you talking about the moon landing? Are you talking about Apollo 20? No, I'm talking about this ancient alien spacecraft that some people have seen in a crater of the moon. That apparently okay, so was we'll just go. crashed uh, purposefully and it's part of a junkyard now. Well, he's saying like that's a lot of in instances of it. If they're talking about like have aliens crash on the moon and died, yes. Okay. That has the one happen. she's talking about or he's talking about. Um, no. Okay. How was it powered? And how old is this space ancient spacecraft and, and how is it powered? Is it millions? It's all organic. So again, it's um think of the spacecraft as oh, that's cool. <laughs> um almost like a, like a mule or like a big soft squishy like teddy bear that everyone kind of like rides on. Oh, okay. Right. So it's it's like a living breathing wow. thing that and everybody's like connected but it's not just psychically or telepathically it's literally so when you join the ship you join the ship physically too huh yeah like dna wow does it does mm -hmm. is it is it a sentient ship does it think does it have emotions or yes yes oh, wow, that's so cool it's like a birthing process. It's a really great celebration. He's showing me like how we celebrate. Oh, it's so pretty. I got goosebumps. Uh, you know, like when someone buys a ship and they crack the bottle and how it's always this huge celebration. because It's this large craft carrying all of these people. He said it's almost, it's like that, but think of it as like a hundred mothers giving birth at once. Wow. So that's the kind of like en love energy that is put into this because every single person that's part of this project gives of themselves quite literally with their DNA. Wow. He's saying it's not painful. It's very loving. Mm. Think of it as when two humans, um, you know, have sex and have a baby. So that intercourse or that union together, that love, that's when you become one or birth this ship because it's cool. going to be producing life for you and and it's going to be your mini planet as you move through wow. the multiverse. That's awesome. So what what propellant does it use to move itself? Or does it just beam itself or place everything's it? organic? So all of the energy so it farts oh, it's itself. very like Forward. libertarian. I don't know how like a, a better word for it. Um if it if the ship and, and the collective need to be propelled faster. 
then they collectively call on source or any energies that are uh, maybe free floating in the multiverse to be borrowed, brought in to propel forward for the mm. greater good. Wow. So the greater the collective, the more powerful, the faster, the further um, the travel can That's be. That's so cool. All right. Um, did it come from a planet from our universe or no. another universe? Another universe. Wow. If the planet came from our universe, no, never, never mind. Why was there this, why was it launched, this spacecraft? Was it just to be decommissioned, I guess? And oh, no, it, it was just, it's just a normal. What do they use it for? So <laughs> when Earth first was created mm -hmm. and the human species, so, okay. Hold on, I'm getting like a better understanding. All right, so the Earth is first created, and when our, when a planet is first created, it actually expels out a call um, for like an elemental energy based on its location, time, and relativity and space, like all of that. Okay, and then he tells tells me to back up and calls me a squishy head. I don't need to know all of this. <laughs> um, so the earth Gaia calls that um, for far out uh, planet answers the call because it has all of these living organic collectives. So basically a group of individuals of like-minded individuals want to go out beyond whatever. So they birth a ship and now there's all these feelers out and they can feel a call that earth needs help. And then cool. they birth more because they will say, Oh, there's another planet that needs help. And he is calling on this energy. Let me feel that energy. Can I incarnate? incarnate there oh maybe if i do this so i should join this collective and then it's the most efficient like zero waste it's so incredible what he's showing me he's showing me a, a group but they exist um they're that's kind of where our trees came from he's showing me oh, wow. but yeah so they call on that energy and so they make more of these collectives and pods and elementals to support the multiverse oh. Because their true understanding of a collective. So they're not just their planet. They never think of themselves as an individual thing. Because everything's living and everything's around them. And the that's why they exist. Oh, that is cool. That is so beautiful. Yeah, that is beautiful. All right. I think we will pause here. I mean, stop. This is part one. You guys hit the notification bell so you don't miss part two when it's publicized and there we have it lauren she's guiding perceptions.com yeah. thank you eric hang tight because i got some more questions for both of you bye All right see you soon he says yeah bye.